Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and I am over at the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah reviewing a few vehicles and I thought I'd talk about something while I'm over here and that is the fact that I've noticed that Ram trucks are starting to sit on the lot which is kind of unprecedented because we've been in a car buying industry where everything is just flying off the shelf before it even arrives and so I figured that we would talk about this. But as always, again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram in Sandy for just having these trucks sitting here so I can film this video. Link to their inventory in the description down below and let's get right into it. Let's quickly go over the inventory that they have right now just to kind of show what is happening and how inventory is starting to kind of uh, somewhat stack up. So they've got this uh, Laramie right here. We have this Rocky Ridge package, which is basically just a lifted diesel. It's a 3,500. That one looks like a Bighorn. We have this modified Bighorn here. We have a Warlock there at the end. We've got another Bighorn, and then we have another Bighorn, and then we've got a Rebel there. And I'm guessing that one has the 5.7 liter Hemi. Let's just double check there on the hood. Yep, she's got a Hemi. And then we've got another Laramie right here. We have another classic edition, and then we have another big horn, and we have a limited with the Eco Diesel Power Wagon, and then you guys can see here what 3,500 looks like a long bed too. It's kind of a unique truck. Now 2,500. That's a very unique truck. 2,500 long bed, bright blue. What is it? A Laramie? Yeah, it looks like a Laramie. So I mean, it's not like they have like hundreds of trucks, like <laughs> not that many, but still like. You know, just you know, a year ago, this lot would have been completely empty. Whereas now, there's you know some options to choose from if you came down here. Now, the reason that I showed you guys all of the trucks is I do think that part of the reason why these trucks are here is potentially the packages that they have on them. Potentially, um, so the Ram Classic Edition is still a pretty popular truck, but it isn't as popular as what it used to be because I mean, it's the old body style that they're still selling alongside the new body style for quite some time, and this truck is actually this warlock's a quad cab which a lot of people are looking for the bigger cab so that could be a potential reason why that truck is here now this big horn it's just a regular big horn with a crew cab 57 hemi so is that one's an eco diesel actually so that's pretty rare you shouldn't see that it's got really right this is a weird package we're actually gonna go look at this i know this is kind of a weird video all over the place but you know we're trying to get to the bottom of this sixty thousand dollars for a big horn huh well that might answer that, $60,000 for a Bighorn, so that's probably the reason why that one is potentially here. Rebel, $63,000 with the vinyl seats. That's not too weird. So this Rebel's pretty normal, but it's got a regular 5.7 Hemi. A lot of people have been going for the E-Torx with the Rebels lately. And then this one's just a regular Laramie. Um, $61,000 Laramie, chrome, all that kind of stuff. Nothing too crazy about that. And then we got the, class, the other classic, which is just, uh, crew cab so it's surprising this one's actually here because usually the crew cabs go pretty fast let's see what the msrp is forty one thousand dollars tradesman so it's like a work truck but a lot of people that have been shopping for trucks aren't looking for work trucks anymore it seems like they're getting like the higher end packages just regular bighorn again um eco diesel limited eco diesel limiteds don't really sell all that well i've noticed um it's definitely a very niche market for that truck because a lot of people get the limiteds just when you get the 5.7 Hemi, they don't really care about going for the Eco Diesel powertrain. Um, and it, the Limited is already very expensive, and the Eco Diesel powertrain makes it more expensive. And so this truck, yeah, $70, $78,000. So what I've noticed so far is all these trucks are kind of uh, interesting packages. Now, this power wagon just a regular, like, Laramie power wagon, so it's probably going to sell pretty quick. They had, like, four of these the other week, and now they only have one, so, like... Yeah, I, I don't. I think the power wagon's an anomaly. Now again, 2,500 long bed. This is also a weird truck. So what? I, again, I'm kind of noticing a theme here. Eighty-four thousand dollars. Holy guacamole! Fifty-gallon fuel tank. Huh? Don't see that very often. Um. So very weird spec. Yet again. So that is the uh, theme that I've noticed. So we looked at most of the trucks. We're not gonna look at every single one. Um, obviously the lot build that's lifted and then the Rocky Ridge that's also lifted are gonna take a little bit longer to sell because again, those are more uh, niche vehicles where you just have to find the right buyer because they're just frankly gonna be quite a bit more expensive than a stock truck with all of the aftermarket goodies they have added onto them. But what I've noticed so far is these are all very strange configurations. They're not typical for what someone would add. Um, for example, 
with the limited. Like I said, most people are just gonna get limited with the 5.7 Hemi E-Torque. They're not gonna do the Eco Diesel just because the Eco Diesel costs more money. 2,500 long bed with every single option imaginable. That's not usually what happens. Usually people get the long bed with the 3,500. They usually get the 2,500 with the short bed and they're usually not gonna spec out the truck to that extent. Um, so again, that's, that's just a weird, weird specification. Let me know if you guys want me to review that truck because that is, yeah, very interesting. Um, so the point that I wanted to make here is I think this is part of the reason why some trucks could potentially be sitting on the lot is just they're not the specification that people want. And so I'm not saying that these trucks are never gonna sell because you know what, frankly, someone's gonna come in and uh, buy these trucks because you know the uh, old saying in the car industry is there is an ass for every seat. I know, I know, it, it's, it's a funny saying, uh, but it is true, right? These, these trucks ultimately will end up working for someone even though they do have some kind of weird options within their configuration. But someone might ask, well, wait a second, aren't we in a market where people are just buying vehicles left and right? Wouldn't they just buy them anyways right away because they just want to get a vehicle? And that is true, however, Ram has done something that other truck makers haven't been able to do, and that is actually build out customer orders in a relatively reasonable timeline. Um, so a lot of you guys that are watching this channel actually have ordered a Ram truck in the last you know, year or year and a half, and you probably noticed that your truck came in a lot quicker than what you originally thought. Now, there are some people that definitely have some stories where they ordered a truck and then it took a lot longer than they expected. Um, I've had people message me saying that they ordered a vehicle like over a year ago and they still haven't received their vehicle but then I get more messages of people saying that they ordered a Ram truck and then they literally got their vehicle delivered to them like within three to four months which is again unprecedented in today's market because with a lot of manufacturers if you go to order a vehicle with them you have to wait for sometimes a year a year and a half two years I've heard crazy crazy long wait times um, and so I think that's part of the reason uh, also why there are trucks uh, still here on the lot is because people are able to go in and order exactly what they want with Ram and they're able to get that in a timely manner and so you know customers of this dealership for example if they wanted this truck but then in black this rebel but in black they'd be able to just quickly go and order one and probably I'm not saying this is for sure but I'm probably be able to get it within three to four months which I think most people are fine with waiting that amount of time at this point um, so I think that's definitely affecting it as well um, obviously we're having you know with the whole market we're having a slight slowdown but not really with vehicles like this the slowdown is mostly happening for luxury cars at this point and so vehicles like this haven't really been hit and when I say vehicles like this Rams obviously I mean they make trucks that have luxury interiors but it's not a luxury uh automaker if that makes sense it's not like um you know bmw or audi or mercedes or something like that it's it's, it's ultimately still ram even though the interiors on these trucks are as nice as those automakers funny enough um, i'm gonna go in the shade here so i don't get burned too much um but yeah also this rebel has ram boxes just the, the weirdness continues again all these trucks have all these trucks have very strange um, options um, but yeah the slowdown is not really going to affect automakers like ram um, for at least the general time being i know a lot of people comment fuel coming all that kind of stuff but a lot of people that are coming in and buying these new ram trucks already are driving a truck and because these are um, these new ram trucks get significantly better fuel economy than trucks that are 10 15 years old then most people they get into these trucks and they're like whoa i'm getting better gas mileage and actually saving money by going to a uh, newer truck especially if you go from like a tundra or something like that to a ram truck okay so pulling this all together and by the way this isn't just this specific ram dealership you guys know i drive all over the state of utah and i talk to a lot of people and so i kind of know the general trends within the industry and so first thing Ram dealers are for some reason getting weird factory builds um, sent to them. Who knows why, but they are getting weird factory builds sent to them as part of their allocation. And because these are weird builds that definitely have a very specific niche buyer for them, they are going to sit on the lot a little bit longer. But on top of that, Ram has been just amazing at fulfilling customer orders so far. And so a lot of people aren't going into Ram dealerships and buying cars off the lot they're going into Ram dealerships to order uh, their trucks because they can actually get them within a timely manner. And on top of that, the thing that Ram does better than every other manufacturer from a truck perspective, especially compared to Ford, like this is something that Ford definitely needs to fix, is that they will actually let people put orders in. Whereas, you know, a lot of other manufacturers, like I said, like Ford, 
it's like, okay, the dealer's gonna get this many allocations, and so if you wanna order from that dealer, you can get on their list and then eventually maybe order a vehicle. Whereas with Ram, you can go in and just, boom, put in your order. It, it's that simple. Like, if I wanted to, like, come in here and order a TRX today, I could just go into the dealership and literally just go in and then be like, I wanna order a TRX with this spec, and then they can just, boom, click, 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 send it over to Ram, and then Ram's gonna get that, and Ram's gonna know, okay, this dealership has, just say, just for example sake, this dealership has 20 TRX orders and they, you know, with people that are wanting to order this and then boom, and then they're gonna build them out as they are able to build them out. Whereas like, if I did the same thing, like at a Ford dealership or something, I'm just using this for example sake to like show what Ram is doing right and you know, why they have vehicles <laughs> lots. If I went to a Ford dealership and did that, they'd put me in a list. And so Ford wouldn't actually know that I would want to order that vehicle because it would just, I'd just be on a dealer list. I wouldn't be a factory order. And so, yeah, I, I think that Ram's definitely done a much better job compared to other automakers with this whole order fulfillment thing and everything. And so, yeah, I know it's kind of a weird long-witted explanation for why there are Ram trucks on the lot, but I don't think it's a bad sign. I think it's actually a good sign that Ram's doing the right thing. Whereas a lot of these automakers that don't have any vehicles in the lots, I know that it looks like, oh, they're selling out, they're selling like hotcakes, but it's more of they're not able to fill, fulfill customer orders. And since they're not able to meet demand, they're not they're not going to have happy customers. Like, I feel like Ram customers right now are like the happiest because people are actually getting their trucks. But let me know what you guys think in terms of like this whole thing. And I'll see you again. Shout out to the Dodge Ram and Sandy.